By the way, current circuit shown is 3.2 MA. If you did any lab with M meters measuring current, you will realize that it's actually bouncing up and down, right? 3.2, 3.1, 3.4, 3.0, 2.9. It's, it's bouncing up and down. So oftentimes, if you have different values of current, what we do is we take the average current. Because you know, it's changing up and down, but it's roughly some value. And that some value is our current here, 3.2 milliamps because of I don't know, changing current. Because that's the only way we can calculate and use our Q equals the IT. We need an average current. Okay, what is the direction flow and the rate of flow of the electrons through the resistor? Rate of flow. If you look here, it's interesting. They didn't, they said um, seconds. They didn't say coulomb per second or something like that. So what does that mean? It's just per second. Here's a hint. When it's just per second, it could very much be electrons per second. Because there's no unit for number of electrons per second. There's no unit for number. It's just a number. So per second, if you see that, it just means electrons per second. So like what we did before, if you thought of that, good, good start. Number of electrons, each electron got a charge times the current I, T. But here, we're trying to find number electrons per second. So that could be think about as um, n over t, number per second. Then you only get s negative 1. Okay, so rearrange a bit. n over t equals to i over e. There, this is what we're trying to find. Okay, so we need to do i over e. Nah, now we can do that. So n over t, which is the rate of flow, numbers per second will be current, 3.2 milli. Milliamps is the good scale for most current. Um, for batteries, for small devices, milliamps. So yeah. Anything we, that is just M, ah, wow, that one it can kill you already if you touch it. <laughs> I got shocked once. I'll show you the place, maybe one of these videos. I got electric shock. Wow, thankfully, nothing happened to me. So, um, time. Do we know time? Oh, we're trying to find E, right? So 1.6 times 10, negative 19. And what do we get for our rate of flow? Negative 3. 1.6 times 10, negative 19. 2 times 10 of 16 per second. Basically, it means electrons per second, but there's no unit for number of electrons. So we look at the answers. Aha, uh -huh, B is out, D is out. Now then co comes another question. Uh, this is a circuit, right? Which direction is the electron flowing? Hmm. This is where it's a good transition to the next uh, section of this video. I'll split it up, do another video. But here's a sneak peek of what's to come. If you see this thing here, that's what we call a battery. And the longer side is the positive side. The shorter side is the negative side. Now, electrons are actually going to flow from the negative through the positive. So, electrons are, E, electrons, uh, I'll put negative, they are flowing this way. Okay, flow from negative to positive, because they, they cannot jump over this gap, ah, so they just flow through the wire. Though. Okay, so they're flowing, flowing, flowing. Um, and they want to go home, so they will start at the negative flow and then go back to the positive. So in that case, that leaves us with electrons flowing from y to x. So this one is out. Y to x. Yay! So we managed to reach that conclusion. Good job. If not, it's okay. So first steps in trying to figure out how to understand electricity.